Hi everyone, so you might have noticed that my BB-10 has several holes in the walls and over time, I've had this for a long time ever since MFB started, uh, they've gotten really big and uh, this, these kind of holes, they're not good for battles and they only keep getting bigger uh, so I don't want my stadium to completely break and I'm going to be trying to fill these holes today. Um, so I looked online about uh, how to fill like holes or holes in plastic and there's a lot of tutorials about boating and they use uh, this brand called JB Weld Epoxy and it's just something that you can buy from like a Home Depot or your local hardware store and it comes in two separate tubes. One is uh, the epoxy resin and the other one is the hardener and you uh, simply just spray it out, you mix it and then you apply it uh, to patch up the hole. So these holes, um, I'm a little bit nervous at first just because they're uh, really big, like for example this one here, and the plastic is a little bit on the thin side, so I might have to do a couple layers to see if it'll actually harden up like I want it to. Um, but you can see there, there's quite a bit of damage that I'm going to have to repair. So the first step is uh, taping an epoxy resin. So you can see here that I've taped up the back of the hole. And it, essentially what you want to do is you want to mask the hole with some tape. I'm using clear packing tape here, but you can also choose to use masking tape. Um, I've heard that masking tape gives a less glossy finish or a more matte finish. So that's why I went with the packing tape um, instead of the masking tape. Um, and you can see here, if you look closely on the sides, uh, you can see the tape is sort of in the hole, preventing it from opening. So next you're gonna take like a cup and uh, you're gonna take a, your epoxy. And I've already done a test run, so I know what to expect. Uh, but you essentially have these two tubes here. One of them is the hardener and the other one is the resin. And when they mix together, it creates this really hard um, epoxy so to speak. I might be uh, not correct on some terms, but essentially it creates a really hard plastic once you spread it over. Um, uh, so we'll, we'll see that here. So I'm going to uh, spray it into the cup uh, just a little bit, or squirt it into the cup, and then here's something that I did wrong, which maybe in the future, if I ever continue to get holes, we'll see. But um, if you guys want to try this, uh, what you should do is you should spray a little bit more than what I did here and mix very slowly because you can see here um, I'm mixing but I'm also kind of folding while I'm mixing and that like uh, makes bubbles inside the mixture and when you put it on it'll make bubbles inside of the uh, stadium which is not good. So you can see you already did one layer, but uh, essentially you just take a little popsicle stick or something and it, it comes with an application stick in the package and you just apply it over the taped region or apply it over the layer that you had before. And that's about it. Uh, some things I've noticed is that uh, if you apply a lot on it one time, it tends to run down at the stadium. So you kind of have to uh, move it or hold it in place. So here's what the wall looks like after one layer, and it will be a little bit soft. I recommend waiting 24 hours for the layer to dry. Um, and then this is what it looks like about uh, three or four layers into it. Um, and this again took about three days to do because each layer takes about 24 hours to dry completely. So you can see here, this is like complete the stadium. Um, you could use this, it dried extremely hard, so I was really happy with it. It dries clear, so it looks like it's part of the walls. And overall, this is in a usable state right now. So the next step is uh, sanding and finishing. This is the final step. You could choose to do this if you want to. You don't have to do this, but I decide to do this because sometimes when I'm applying, it doesn't apply uh, perfectly smooth. And I just like my walls to be a little bit smoother. So essentially what we're going to do here is we're going to take some uh, lower grit sandpaper at first to scrape off some of the excess and then move our way up in uh, grit to get a smoother and smoother finish each time. So here you can see I'm sanding with, I think this is 800 grit. And of course, right now I'm just trying to remove some of the uh, walls. Uh, I think I should have started with a bit of a lower grit because some of the bigger holes took a lot longer to shave down than like for example this one. Um, and then the final grid that we move to is going to be the 
a wet sanding. I think this one is either 2000 grit, I'm not 100% sure, but uh, essentially you just dip it in water and you start sanding it. It almost feels like you're buffing, kind of, and what this will do is this will um, make the whole surface smooth and uh, shiny as opposed to being matte. Here is the final result. So ladies and gentlemen, this is a very good result, I would say. Maybe I could have done a little bit better job on the sanding, taking more time, but honestly, I just, I'm really happy with the way it turned out right now. The walls are extremely hard. I think it's the plastic that dries is harder than the BB-10. They're completely clear, although you can still see some of the areas where it used to be cracked. It's completely solid right now. And uh, we can go ahead and do a test battle. Alright, so if you like this video, um, you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Um, this was definitely a learning process for me, but I'm glad that I figured out uh, this so that if my BB-10 or any other stadium that I have breaks in the future, I know a good way to repair it that both looks great and also is super functional. Um, I'll also maybe post an update uh, to tell you guys how uh, the stadium is holding up, but for now it seems to be working uh, great. So with that said, um, I think that's about it for this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.